Hello everyone. Hope everyone's well and I hope everyone is blessed. So I thought I'd do a little video for my for my gym page, uh, which is Paul Venice Official. Um, for everyone who subscribed and, and, and took the time to comment, I do appreciate it. I will get the time to go through the comments. Um, but a couple of comments that have stuck out in my mind. One was asking what do I weigh? So I'm 112 kilos right now, which is 17 and a half stone. Yeah, 17 and a half stone, something like that. Yeah, 17 and a half stone. A couple of other questions, you know, we're asking about, you know, is that enough? So the videos that I've already put up, showing you the exercises, what you must do on certain body parts, for a, for, for a, for a beginner gym goer, yeah, that's probably enough. But if you're a more advanced gym goer, then no, it's not enough. You probably need to put more exercises in. But you still, these exercises that I've showed, my opinion, I think they are must do. They're the exercise that you must do, without a shadow of doubt in order to see growth. Now, that being said, if you're a more advanced bodybuilder or a more advanced gym goer, then put some extra exercises in. The other question that I've been asked is, do I train to failure? Yes, every single set I do, I train till failure. You know, I'll push and push and push till I can't push no more. It's simple as that. You know, I've never always trained like this. Over the last eight to 12 months, I've started to train like this. I was more of an ego lifter, a one press max guy. You know, I wanted to look big and strong, and I was strong, and I was big. You know, I was benching 220, I was deadlifting 340, you know, I was squatting a shitload of weight, you know, and then um, I found that I was having a lot of injuries, you know, I'm still struggling now for pressing that type of weight, you know, and training that way. Where now, I find that, you know, slow, strict, um, more, more of an isolated movement, and always go till failure. Even when I'm struggling to get them last reps out, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I'm still moving the weight, i.e. half reps, you know, keeping the tension on, just well, 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 just literally getting the last movements out that I possibly can till failure, every time, no matter what I'm training, always till failure. I make sure that I have a good warm-up vest. If I'm training this with this type of intensity, you need to warm up. I can't stress enough how much it is vital to warm up. Five or 10 minutes on a treadmill, a good stretch off. Whatever body part you're doing, make sure you are doing a decent one. You're getting it warm, you're getting it stretched off, you know, and you're getting ready to fucking kill it. What was your other question? The other question is PEDs, right? Supplements. I do take PEDs. I do take steroids. Now, if you're thinking about taking steroids, go do your research. Go do your own work. No one on this planet should be taking any type of steroid without knowing what they're taking. You should go away, do your research, find out what certain PEDs are good for and what, they, what, what you can use them for. Now, I'm, I'm currently on one mil of test. I'm on my last two weeks of taking one mil of test. I take one mil of test every seven to 10 days. My next course, what I'm gonna be taking, will be mast and test. Now, I'll only do two mil a week. It's the most I'll take. You know, I'm 37 now. You know, I've messed around with PEDs for most of my life. The only time I stayed off PEDs was when I turned pro, when I was fighting. I'd done 10 years as a fighting, in a fighting career and I never touched one PED. I'd done it all natural and I was perfectly fine doing it natural because, you know, I felt like, you know, I was trimmer, I was faster, you know, and I was lighter. I could move a little bit better. When you're, when you're bodybuilding, you struggle to move, you know, you struggle, you struggle to swing a punch, you struggle to kick. You know, these things can injure a fighting career. You know, but now I don't fight. I like to lift a lot of weight and I like to stack the muscle on. So yeah, supplements, PEDs, go do your research, guys. Listen to me. Do not think about taking any type of gear until you've done research on it. You must read up on it. You must have a look at the side effects, the benefits, everything around that gear. Now, for me, test Infinite is my go-to thing. I do like to take test. I think I'll probably take test for the rest of my life. You know, once I finish a course and I come down, I'll run half a mil for about 20 weeks just to just just to give my body a break. But I don't want to be coming totally off it because I believe I'm at an age now where my test my testosterone levels are probably crucified. You know, they're probably uh, you know my natural testosterone is probably fucked. You know, and and that goes for the, for every average man. You know, once you get to 35 plus, your testosterone levels are on a decline. You know, they're starting to, to, to really come down. So for me personally, I believe, my opinion, that anyone 
35 or plus, you know, who's, who's, who trains, you know, or competing, any type of bodybuilding or anything like that, 100% should run half a mil of test, TRT, basically, it's a TRT, testosterone replacement treatment. Um, if anyone's, again, and another question that I've got asked, how long have I been training and how long have I been in the gym? I've trained all my life, I've trained most of my life, since I've been about 16, 17. My dad was a bodybuilder, um, but I've bounced in different types of training. You know, I've, I've boxed, I've done Muay Thai and K1 kickboxing for 10 years, and I've, body, I've done bodybuilding. I am a personal trainer now, so um, I do believe my criteria around losing weight, gaining weight, uh, you know, packing muscle on, losing muscle, eating right, you know, I, I think my uh, my resume sp speaks for itself. You know, if anyone doesn't know, I, I have had a decent career in fighting. I was, um, I'm a 32 fight veteran. I've had 32 pro fights uh, in K1 kickboxing. I've had 12 boxing fights. You know, a couple of bare knuckles, a couple of white collar. It is what it is. So I have competed at a decent level and I've competed in a few different sports. I was a high level footballer as well as a young kid. You know, um, I played in, in and out of clubs for a while. But um, that being said, the gym stuff, it helps me with my mental health as well. You know, if anyone doesn't know, I'm a recovering addict. You know, I've suffered with drug abuse for most of my life. And I got into recovery and the possibilities have been endless. You know, and when I speak about recovery, I talk about Narcotics Anonymous, which is a 12-step program. Um, I'm involved in that. And since I've been in, in, in NA, my training has got a lot better. You know, my mindset's a lot better. You know, my mental health is on point. You know, I put that to rest every single day. You know, the gym does help with my mental health. The gym does help. It, um, it doesn't set me free from it. But for the 45 minutes to an hour when I'm in that gym, I think about nothing else but the gym. You know, I train my ass off, I push myself to the limit, you know, and when I come out of there, I feel good and I'm ready for the day. It's all good. So yeah, guys, just a quick one for me. Uh, stay blessed. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for everyone who comments. Stay blessed.